Hey y'all. So like, I'm zoomed way out because this time I have a box that's big. <laughs> What's that, Brandon? Why, it's the game show. By clockwork. This was, I mean, it says redefine portable game console. Well, that's fine, what does that mean? Well, it was a Kickstarter. I'm probably gonna need a blade to get this open. Uh, it was a Kickstarter that only needed to reach uh, like 50000 and they got to $290,429 and probably some change. Um, it's completely modular. I don't even know how to explain it. I just need to open it. You give me one moment while I just grab these keys. I do a little something like this and try to not break the box. There we go. And we're just going to go through this together. This is Clockwork Pie. So it's something sort of like that. You can modify it, you can edit it, you can do whatever you want with this, but it's kind of, I don't even know where to start, there's so much stuff here, alright. Here, let's look at the outside casing. Why, they sent me a red and a yellow shell, and this is the, the front face plate. You can see that there is a place for menu button, shift, implying keyboard support. You got your volume plus and minus, and or start and select, and then four face buttons D-pad, and it even mentions right there, modular, portable game console. Oh, I scratched at my thumbnail. Anyway, moving right along. <laughs> we got some stuff. I'm not going to pretend like I know what it is until I look through it, but this clearly looks like... Like, oh, it's a shell that snaps up. Interesting. Okay. So this is more covers, backs, like, that's the battery container. Wow, basically you can do it, you know, from scratch, as is in the directions, or you can completely modify this stuff the way that you want it to be. Heck, I don't even know what that is. You can tell that this stuff pops out. This is gonna be fun, this is gonna be a fun little thing. Oh, game shell assembly guidelines. So you can see there, there's just tons of pieces. Oh boy. Lots of stuff to, to, to look over in my review, clearly. Oh, pieces just kind of snap into place. That is beyond genius. What else we got in here? These are clearly for those little things that snap on you can inlay. That is cuter than all get out. <laughs> you make them look like the old rewritable floppy disks. Oh, what? So these are the little actual brains of the matter. Highly hackable open source equipment. And they all say that. How many more are in here? Oh my gosh, this is gonna be a mess all over my floor. <laughs> but that, I think, is what's gonna be fun about it. Finding out what does what. You could even make notations on the back of these. Swap pieces out, make them do different things. But the biggest, the, my, my wanting of doing this was just emulation. And, and I know you can, you could even make I wonder what that means. Oh, one, oh, two, oh, three. 2, 3. You can even make... I guess it's because of that. You can even make this just, you know, basic, or you can do your own thing and create stuff that nobody's ever created before. Let's look inside these. I don't want to make... mix up too much stuff, because then I might get discombobulated when I actually go to try to put this together. Okay, so these are buttons rubber and the actual tangible buttons that you'll be pressing down. Shoulder buttons and whatnot. Okay, all right. So that's what's hmm, in this one. That thing looks like it could be broken. That's good to know. It looks very solid and sturdy. So I'm going to put this bag in here. Excuse me while I just make certain that I get stuff back in the original containers because I'm like that. And of course, it's not going to sit exactly the same until we give it some time to put it back in there. Anyway, all right. Oh, these this boxes can be completely disassembled. For some reason, you can un undo it that way and the top way. One of these has to be the screen, and then like a battery. Ooh, this is. Probably not a Raspberry Pi. It looks like, if you see there where it says clockwork, it looks like 
It is custom, but it is a microcomputer. And here is a PCB for some secondary stuff. I see another micro USB port. Interesting. There's some plugs onto it so you can probably connect stuff together. What do we got on this side of it? Ah, yes. Mr. Screen. It's ribbon cable. Ruby. Alright. I'm going to put these back in there. I'm not going to worry about the foam wrap. I think that's what caused it to get all caught up in the last box. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Alright, what do we got here? Holy free holies. It's almost like Legos. So this is the back plate. So you take one of the colors, either the red or the yellow that they sent me. There's tons of other colors, by the way. You don't think you have to get stuck with one or the other don't like those colors when you go to buy this stuff soon you'll have you'll have choices they're not gonna be so mean what's in this one alrighty so they sent a micro SD card which means of course it's upgradable past 8 gigabytes but that's what's in there Try to make out what that is per se let me take it into my light here it's just more bits and pieces to make it even more modular Things will let you plug from one into the other. There's an even larger board of more of the same stuff. I think those are LEDs. No, they're, they're, they're tack switches. I don't know why I couldn't come up with the word. And there's the battery. 1050 milliamp hours. Pretty good. So I'm going to put those back in this box. Alrighty, on to the last box here. <clears throat> another shell so there's a, a white shell I feel like this is probably a more basic one I think this might be the default one that's on their website with the smoke back I feel like a lot of you since I think this is the default color will you'll probably see more people with this <clears throat> but definitely the yellow is nice I'm sure people will like start trading in the future hey you got a yellow I couldn't get a yellow well you have a white I don't even know I, I didn't I missed the the release window so I didn't get a white Oh, cool, I'm tired of looking at mine. You want to swap? And literally, you can un just undo it right then and there. So that is the whole <laughs> breakdown of the game shell by Clockwork. There's going to be a review for it. It's so much deeper than I'm even letting on. Um, thanks for watching. Check, keep, <clears throat> keep your eyes peeled for the review link that will be down in the description. And, or you can just follow me on Twitter and the whole article will be posted on there once it's done. Thanks guys, bye.